good evening. How y'all doing tonight? So we always got an idea of what's happening here. This is fantastic. So, so uh, I'm going to let uh, uh, Olivia introduce the band here in a moment. And, uh, but uh, I want to thank you all for coming here and uh, being a part of the concert series, the third show in the concert series. Uh, we want to thank the donors who make this possible. Um, but uh, we keep these things going through your donations. So if you're able, please uh, visit us in the back uh, afterwards. And, uh, um, if you enjoy the show. Also, you can fill out the uh, connection cards. We want to talk to you. We want to send you emails about what we're doing here at Narden Park. So uh, if you're interested in receiving those emails, please feel free to fill out a connection card so that we can uh, reach out to you in that way. Uh, live streamers, we see you out there too. Thank you for joining us. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the lady of the hour, Olivia Van Gore and her trio. So thank you. Take it away. I be wise, be smart, behave my heart. Don't upset your cart when you're so close. Be soft, be sweet, but be discreet. Don't go off your beat. He's too close for comfort. Too close, too close for comfort, please. Not again. Too close, too close to know. so much and thank you Jack for the wonderful introduction. My name is Olivia Van Gore. I'm a jazz vocalist in the area and I'm so happy to spend my Wednesday evening with you all. I'd love to introduce the band. This is William Bennett on the keyboard tonight on the piano, this beautiful piano. And then over here is Ruben Stump on the upright bass holding it down. And then over here is Dave Zwolinski on the drums. We're gonna do a selection of a couple things, but we'd like to get a little more warm first. So we're gonna do a standard that I love. This is called On Green Dolphin Street. Supplied the setting, the setting for nights beyond forgetting. And through these multiple moments of parts, oh, love came here in my heart. And I'd recall the love I found on, I could kiss the ground on green. Street, boo, 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 boo. 
proven stump. Thank you very much. How's it sounding out there? Now that there's people in here, it feels a little bit different. It's nice, though. How's it, how's it sound for you guys? Good? OK, good, good, good. You know, you hate to do a show like this, and then at the very end, you find out that no one can hear like a certain thing. So I always ask, right? Because even like the, the amount of people will change it. Um, but the next one that we're going to do is from a very special show that I did a couple months ago um, at the Blue Llama Jazz Club in Ann Arbor. It was a wonderful tribute show to one of my idols, um, Anita O'Day. And if you know what she looks like, then you can see where I got my haircut from. Uh, she is one of my favorite jazz vocalists. And on a summer's day at the Newport Jazz Festival, I forget the year, uh, she did this lovely rendition of the standard Sweet Georgia Brown. I'm gonna make sure this doesn't. Here we go. No gal maid has got a shade on sweet judge of brown. Mm, to left feet, but oh oh. So neat, sweet Georgia Brown. They all sigh and want to die for sweet Georgia Brown. I'll tell you. It's a shame how she cools him down. Fellas, she can't get. Ah, fellas, she ain't meant. Georgia claimed her, Georgia named her sweet Georgia Brown. Shame. 
Thank you very much. <clears throat> so speaking of Anita O'Day, she being one of my favorites, you know, I've done many deep dives into her stuff. So she did a cover of a Johnny Mandel tune from 1958, I think. She did a, an album in the 60s called Cool Heat, and, uh, and it was mostly standards, but there was this one tune on it that I just adored, and she didn't write any lyrics for it. It was an original <coughs> instrumental tune written for um, the Stan Getz uh, trio or quartet, I can't remember. That's the first recording I could find of it, so I'm guessing that either he wrote it for him or Stan heard the tune and was like, I want to do that tune. So as the tradition goes, Anita heard that and said, I want to do that tune. And she did it to scat syllables. And I thought I would love to write some lyrics. So over a year ago, I wrote the lyrics for this tune. And then I recorded it on an album that is for sale. I have um, CDs for sale at the table in the back um, in the, the lobby area uh, for sale for $10. And it has um, a couple tunes on it, including this one. And this is called Hershey Bar. And it was originally titled that way, and I just thought, what a perfect, what a, just like I love having creative liberties within a certain square, right? So this is this is the tune that I came up with, the words that I came up with for Hershey Bar. <clears throat> Can I have a G, please? One, two, one, two. Uh. Baby, I'm a sweetie, just like a candy bar. Let me take a bite and maybe you're a little more. I can't resist your appetizing in every way. You in a melt like a candy bar, soft around the inside, break back the chocolate hell, and I am all yours. Completely and entirely so. You could have make up someone so sweet, even your imperfection makes it complete. A perfect pick me up and always a treat. I got him never letting go. Even if I could, I would never change a thing. That's why you and chocolate both are my favorite things. I think of the best. I hope if I'm a sweet on you. on the piano. Give us one second. We're going to turn on this microphone here because these guys, not only are they amazing musicians doing what they're doing right now, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, give them a hand. Give them a hand. <laughs> 
but they're also all very multi-talented. So Ruben Stump over here, he was explaining his musical history. You have a microphone, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Um, check, check. <laughs> can you guys hear that? Hello, hello. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so what was your first instrument? Uh, well, I um, played the flute in high school. Nice. Yes. And then wh how did you find that? Because that's a lot bigger than a flute. Well, uh, I wanted to, I was initially going to play uh, classical flute, um, but I wanted to play jazz, and I didn't want to learn the saxophone, <laughs> so I, uh, I chose bass instead. Yeah. yeah, we're very fortunate that he chose the bass. Um, but what he didn't tell you is that he has a lovely voice. So we're going to do a duet together. This is a tune that uh, we, a couple weeks back, I'm going to go back here so I can be with you. And uh, we, uh, we worked it out and figured out what was going on in the tune um, based off of an old uh, recording of Mel Torme and Janice Ian doing her tune, Silly Habits. One, two, and three. I'm still in love and I don't care. something there cause it doesn't show but when you're near silly habits mean a lot I've been alone now for quite some time it's true
Wasn't that awesome? I'm sorry to say that's the only duet that we have planned for the night. I could do that. It just feels so good to blend with such a warm voice. All right. Let's see. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Let's go ahead and do uh, After You've Gone. Is that cool? After You've Gone? D? All right, this next one is a standard. I like to jump in between, you know, the lesser known tunes, and if you're into jazz, you might also know those, but, uh, but we're gonna go back to a standard, uh, one that you've probably heard before. It's a favorite of mine. This is called After You've Gone. you've ever had there'll come a time now don't forget it there'll come a time Thank you very much. 
I think what we're gonna do next is give these two fellas a little break, and we're gonna do a very special duet between Will and I. <clears throat> and look, chair just for me. So, this next song is really special because out of all the tunes, this is gonna be the most original thing that you hear. Because I can't face, I, I gotta face it, I love jazz music. So I'm gonna be singing a lot of covers, but I've been inspired by working with people like Will to write originals. And so, uh, Will did a lot, of, a lot of the work on this one. He, he gave me a tune, a melody, the chords, and a working title, and all I had to do was write the lyrics. And like I said before with Hershey Bar, I love doing that. So I had no problem with that. Um, but this one's really cool. He said it, it was inspired by the duets of Teddy Wilson and Billie Holiday. We love singing those tunes that they do, um, especially, oh my gosh, Foolin' Myself. And it's funny, and it's funny, I just realized that it, the both of those tunes have a, both the one that we wrote and then the one that we like, inspired by them, has the word fool in it. Was that in pr on purpose? No, it just happened. Well, things like that just happened. Um, and so I hope you enjoy this. This is, was really fun to write, too, because just like Hershey Bar, right, like what a random title. Um, Will gave me the title My Lonely Heart, and I thought, okay, you know, there, there's a lot of songs about being lonely, right? It's been done. Um, and, and not that there's anything wrong with writing about something that, you know, you feel. Um, I thought, what, what, what else could I do with this song? So this... Uh, was inspired by the feeling of um, saying no to a relationship, saying no to someone wanting to be with you because you thought, yeah, I gotta, I gotta be with myself, I gotta work on myself. <laughs> and I think uh, we can all relate to that at some point in our life, including me. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
lives when you're taught to love with all that you Thank you. That's William Bennett on the piano, co-writing that song with me. Come back, come back. <laughs> All right. So a couple weeks ago, I had the pleasure of doing a lot of uh, jazz festivals. It was my first time. It's, it was really exciting um, doing, let's see, I did the Michigan Jazz Festival at a Schoolcraft College with Will, and then I got to do um, uh, the Columbus Jazz and Rips Festival, because I went to school near Columbus, so I was able to, to uh, hang out with some old friends there. And then the third one that I did this summer was the Lansing Michigan Jazz Festival, or Michigan Jazz Festival Lansing, however they, they branded it. And, uh, and for that festival, it was cool, because they required everyone to come up with something that's never been, you know, like they, they wanted something that was first been done at that festival. Um, and so it was either something that you could arrange, something you could write, by then, Will and I had already uh, done our tune out you know, in the public, so I was like, okay. Um, and so instead, I just pulled out an arrangement idea that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, a during the quarantine, and, and since then, I've been getting really into watching the, the older movies that all of these tunes came from. So the movies that Frank Sinatra was in, and, and um, all, all, of those, all of those classics. And so I chose a tune from, um, Oh my gosh, uh, Some Like It Hot. This is the tune that Marilyn Monroe sings, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. French were glad to die for love. They delight in fighting duels. But I prefer a man who lives and gives expensive jewels. Ah, a kiss on the hand might be quite sentimental.
Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Let's just end with three of them. So let's do um, let's do I'm gonna skip that again. Let's see if that goes away. Okay. Well, this has been mighty wonderful. We're just coming up on our last couple tunes, but I hope you've enjoyed yourself very much. We really appreciate this, and I want to introduce the band once again, because sometimes when I'm, I'm watching a concert, I, I'm like, I just forgot this person's name, and guess what? All three of these guys are local musicians, and they're doing their own stuff, too. Um, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough to play with them, but they're doing so many cool things. So this is William Bennett on the keys. He regularly plays at Weber's in Ann Arbor. Uh, the, the Sunday brunch, the Sunday night, the Saturday, what is it again? Uh, Sunday morning and night. Sunday morning and night. So if you're in Ann Arbor, you can go check out his solo piano playing. This is Ruben Stump again on the bass. Anything you want me to promote? Oh, yeah. S Ruben has a newly released EP, and he recently graduated from U of M and is now going to be attending Michigan State University uh, doing his master's degree playing this thing. How cool. <laughs> He's got some great stuff. Huh? And this is Dave Zwolinski on the drums. Oh, yeah, two of them. So uh, Dave is a wonderful player, especially in the Detroit area. He's really active in the scene. So he's regularly playing uh, in the house band of two jam sessions on Sunday evenings at um, Aretha's Jazz Cafe and Music Hall, downtown Detroit. He's playing with Scott Gwinnell. And then um, on Tuesday nights at Parts and Labor in Melvindale, he's playing with Trevor Lamb on a jam session. So you can go see other wonderful local musicians. Um, it's, it's many more than just the four of us. It's, it's so many, and it's really wonderful to uh, be a part of it. All right. You know what? Let's just do the last two. <laughs> so let's do Paganini's and then find them out. Cool? So as we wrap up, I thought it would be no perfect than to do this wonderful Ella arrangement of a tune that starts out like this. <laughs> the concert was over in Carnegie Hall the maestro took bow after bow. He said, my dear friends, I have given my all. I'm sorry, it's all over now. From when in the balcony way up high, there suddenly came a mournful cry. Where Mr. Paganini, please play my rhapsody. And if you cannot play it, won't you sing it? And if you can't sing it, you simply have to shout. Mr. Paganini, we breathlessly await your masterful baton. I never wink back at fly or flies would do. Mr. Paganini, we breathlessly await. What have you up your sleeve? Go on and spring it.
We're gonna wrap it up with one more tune. We're gonna feature everyone. This is a classic blues lyrics written by Billie Holiday. Hope you enjoy. Let's do a close up shot, shall we? One, two, three. <laughs> Da 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 da
That's Dave Zolinski on the drums. He wears high drape pants. Jack Chiffon, your host. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, thank you all for coming. Let's hear it again for uh, William, Ruben, David, and Olivia Van Gore. Yes. Thank you. And, and it was, and the, the music was just wonderful, and just, just the history, and then hearing about what you're all doing. Thank you for, for sharing that and being a part of our music series. And, uh, yeah, I, I sometimes I'm scared that I'm talking too much about the context and people are going to fall asleep or something. Oh, no, we're all history buffs here. So okay, because yeah, I love, love to, know, to talk yeah, about we, we, it. And we love that. I will be back there um, where the CDs are if you do want to chat about these stuff because it's, it's very interesting. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. Good to hear. So, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, we'll have to get in, a, in the church band and, uh, and head down and see some of your shows. That'll be good. <laughs> Maybe I'll later on that. But, but thank you all for, for being here. and. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, next week we have the Farmington Swing Band. If you all like a uh, uh, big band, 17-piece big band, come on and be a part of that. Uh, Dr. Rob Conway will be coming and playing, uh, from the DSO will be coming and playing on his 31st. But, but thank you again for making this concert series possible. Uh, have a great night. Come on, let's, let's uh, gather in the back and, uh, and enjoy. So, so thank you, thank you. <laughs> Olivia, thank you, yes. <laughs> Thank you.